welcome back to the channel back to another video my name is sarah if you guys are new and i am currently 38 weeks pregnant and packing the hospital bag it is officially time to get everything together i kind of threw a bunch of stuff into a bag and now it's time to like organize it i really want to show you guys what i'm bringing what i think is important honestly i'm probably packing too much as a first time mom i really don't know what i'm gonna need but it's better to be over prepared i feel like so I have a ton of stuff packed and going to go through it all. What I think is important and what I might need. Honestly, like you probably don't need a lot of this stuff, but I want to be as comfortable as possible in the hospital. So I'm probably overpacking. With that being said, let's jump right into it. I'm going to start on stuff that I'm bringing for me and then we'll jump into what I'm bringing for the baby. So first things first is a pair of of pajamas so i have these really nice like light um long sleeve long pant pajamas so i have these ones in black and then i also have these ones that i'm going to be bringing so i'm bringing two pairs of pajamas this one is short sleeves and long pants i know this one's a lighter color i really only have this dark one and then honestly if things get messy it will be okay i'm not too concerned about it i also bought a black like slinky robe like that because i do live in my robe my barefoot dreams robe but i feel like it might be a little too thick and heavy for summertime so i bought this at walmart it was like ten dollars and it's just like really stretchy and will be easy to pull the boob out when i need it so i picked that up and will be bringing that with my pajamas as well next thing for me is two um nursing bras i got these off amazon they're really affordable i think it was 20 dollars for a three pack so i'm going to be bringing both of these next thing for me is my peri bottle i did buy the freedom mom peri bottle the upside down one just because i've heard so many great things about it i know the hospital gives you peri bottles but i want it to have the one that everyone suggests just with me just in case i want it and you want to use it over the hospital one and that being said i'm also bringing some like of my own postpartum hair stuff so i have some freedom mom maxi pad um like ice pads i also have my dermaplast and my tux hazel witch hazel pads for the underwear situation i think the hospital honestly gives you these to use too so if they do i won't be using my own but i want to have them just in case and then also i'm bringing a ton of like underwear like um like full butt underwear the ones that i bought are from costco is a pack of five and there are some light colors up in here which is not the most ideal i mean there's like a bunch of pinks and like whites and tans but honestly after postpartum i probably won't be continuing to use these so if they get destroyed they get destroyed and i will chuck them afterwards so moving on uh i packed a few things clothing wise for like my going home outfit we are currently in the middle of a heat wave here so it has been very hot so that being said i did pack like long sleeve long pant going home option just because it's like really loose and comfy but i also packed biker shorts and a t-shirt just in case i'm like dying of heat and don't want to put on sweatpants and a sweatshirt going home i mean i don't know how i'm going to feel i really am just winging it next thing i packed is a pair of slippers and a few pairs of like socks and stuff i don't have any grippy socks that have like the grips on the bottom which i've heard a lot of people suggest so i'm just bringing socks like normal socks and i'm sure the hospital will have the grippy like hospital socks if i really need them but i'm sure i'll be fine with what i'm bringing and then the next thing is my little silverlets for breastfeeding. Haven't even like taken these out of the packaging at all. But just gonna bring these. I've heard these are lifesavers, so they just are like that. I'll have everything linked down below, especially everything I bought specifically like for the hospital or like for giving birth recently. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to link everything. Some of it's just like my personal stuff, but that is that next i have a phone charger so i think this is only a six foot i've heard to bring a 10 foot charger which i then have an extension cord for just in case so i don't know like 
if it's just because outlets are like really far from the beds or what it is but I don't know <laughs> I'm just wanting to be safe I'm also gonna be packing my computer and my camera that I'm filming with right now so that will end up going in the hospital bag as well but not until we are ready to get out of here get out of the house and all that stuff next <laughs> I am definitely a little bit crazy and I really 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 want to capture the birth and all the fun stuff so I'm bringing my Polaroid I have more Polaroid film with me and then I also have like a reusable um just like camera like old-fashioned camera and I'm gonna bring this as well so I can have all the types of photos that I want uh I just think it's really cute to have like it captured a bunch of different ways and like have a photo book maybe one day of actual prints like when we were kids I feel like I just think that's really cool uh besides that I have my lotion getting more into toiletries I have I decided to pack just a few makeup items because I don't really plan on putting like a whole ton of makeup on while I'm in the hospital. It's definitely not going to happen, but if I want to take a few pictures with the baby once he's born, I probably will want to feel a little bit more myself and not feel like disgusting. So I packed this OG little uh, blush stick. I also packed a Merit blush. Some Merit um, lip products, eyebrow products, concealer, a deodorant, and um, chapstick. I've heard chapstick is like a must-have, so I brought some chapstick, a claw clip, and then in here I also have some bracelets that I made. One of them has the baby's name on it. This one just has a little star on it. But I have both of those in here too to take a picture with the bracelets and that stuff. But then here's a few more toiletries that I have just to have my own stuff. And Matt did pack a bag with his toiletries and like a zip up sweatshirt so he could do skin to skin and just like a few extra pairs of clothes. But that's really it. But in my toiletry bag, this is actually, you've probably seen this if you have been around with the channel, but this is just like my normal travel toiletry bag. So I have like Q-tips, um, toothpaste and toothbrush. My contact solution and case, um, shampoo and conditioner, and then my like face wash and face lotion and a bar of soap and glasses. So that's pretty much everything in my toiletry bag and that's just a bag I have with me whenever I travel really. I didn't add anything specific for hospital stay but that goes with me whenever I really travel the next thing I packed is a stroller fan I have this obviously for the baby I charged it all up and it's ready to go but I heard this is really good to have for the hospital bed and I'm sure it's gonna be getting really like I'm gonna be hot and like uncomfortable so I'm gonna want this blowing on me either while I'm like going through labor like contractions or who knows but I feel like this is good to have and I definitely want that with me I also am packing a few <laughs> diapers, which uh, just like depends. I know the hospital gives you depends and or, like diapers, but I just want to have some of my own just in case. The next thing is a blanket. I'm also going to be bringing a pillow with me. I've heard so many people say a blanket and a pillow are like lifesavers. It's really cold in hospitals and I just want to be comfortable, as comfortable as I can and bring something from home I feel like will be really nice. And... Like I said, we're going through a heat wave here. It's like 97 degrees out and I feel like they overcompensate that in hospitals and like any public place, honestly, by really cranking the AC and it will just be miserable if I'm freezing the whole time. So I am doing this and a pillow, which I'm just going to bring the pillow I sleep with. But if something happens and we're like in a major rush, run out the door and I forget a pillow, it's not that big of a deal. But the last thing that I'm really bringing for me is a towel. I know they say to bring a dark colored towel um, just for getting messy, but I really don't have any and I'm not gonna go out and buy like a dark towel for this purpose. Um, but th that being said, this towel is from like my college days. So <laughs> it is like almost eight years. It's like an eight year old towel. And 
if I do have to throw it out, I have to throw it out and it's not the end of the world. So I think that is all of my stuff I'm bringing. And next we are going to go into the baby's stuff. Actually, the last thing I'm bringing for myself self is nipple cream. That's going to go in this bag though. Moving into the baby's stuff, I am bringing a ton of onesies for the purpose of not knowing if he's going to be a newborn or if he's going to be in size zero to three. So I'm bringing a few of each. So this is the first one. I really love these Cloud Island. They're from Target, these onesies, and they have the little sleeves that can kind of fold over. So I'm bringing this one. This is newborn, and I'm also bringing this one. This one actually doesn't have the hands, but again, in a size newborn. And then I have a few, this one's actually also newborn. <laughs> so I'm bringing three newborn apparently. I probably don't need three. But this one again has the hands covered and all that stuff. I love these onesies. And then I'm bringing two that are zero to three months. So this one and then this one. I don't think he's going to end up being in zero to three, but just in case I have a few different options. The next thing I have this bag is pretty much full of his name stuff. So I actually got like a little embroidered, got an embroidered hoop made with his name and it's so cute. Am I showing anything? I don't know. Really cute little embroidered hoop that has the name. And then I have this little gown that I'm going to show the back, but it's like a knot gown and it has his name on it embroidered. And then that came with a little hat, which is so cute. <laughs> little like knot hat. So I have all his name stuff and then I have a name swaddle. And then I also have myself a little name necklace. So I'm going to bring that. I could take a picture of that in the hospital and that's all the name stuff that he is going to need next thing for baby is some swaddles so i'm packing two different types of swaddles this one is a velcro swaddle and i'm also bringing the hands up swaddle because i don't know what he's gonna like and i know the hospital will give me like a blanket to swaddle him in so i'm not gonna bring like a normal just like blanket swaddle besides his name one but with that i think i have the bases covered with clothing I'm also going to bring this baby blanket. This thing is so soft and comfy. I actually want to lay him on this to do newborn photos in the hospital. This is like what I'm going to put him on when I announce his name. So that's why I'm bringing this. I think otherwise I really wouldn't bring a baby blanket. It's probably not all that necessary, but since I want photos in that, that's what I'm bringing. And I am going to pack his stuff in his diaper bag. Just so I have the diaper bag with me then at that point. And um, it has his sound machine on here. So this is the hatch to go sound machine. And then it also has his binky case on it. And I put a few binkies in here. I don't know what he's going to like or what he's going to want to take. So I just have three types of binkies. I tried the nuke. I'm trying the ma'am. Uh, ma'am binkies and the bibs binkies i think is what these ones are called so three different types of binkies all fit in this case and i think this case is actually super useful i think it's like the mushy i think it's what it's called i'll have everything linked like i said but that is the little binky case i have i also just have a few diapers in here uh diapers wipes and burp cloths just a few things that honestly more worried about like I have these for like after just as like diaper bag necessities not necessarily for hospital necessities I also have a little bag here with some little things in here like diaper rash cream some ointments and his little nail clipper I always heard to bring nail files or clippers with you to the hospital a lot of people bring the files but we're gonna try clippers see how that goes i honestly think that is everything i'm gonna be bringing to the hospital with me i know it's kind of a lot of stuff so i'm going to organize it and really pack it better now into 
the bags that I'm bringing. I think I'm just going to bring a duffel with me and then the baby's diaper bag as the baby's bag. And then Matt has a backpack for himself. So that is everything we're packing. And I think it should be plenty of stuff. Definitely um, might have overpacked a little bit. But like I said, I'd rather be overly like prepared and have what I need rather than not having what I need because that stresses me out. So I think that is that for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are also a first time mom and like clueless like I was, hopefully this video helped you just a little bit because I know it's kind of overwhelming and stressful and you have no idea what to bring with you to the hospital. So hopefully this was able to help some of you guys. If you guys are also going through this stage of life, make sure you subscribe, stick around. There's gonna be a ton of newborn baby content, first time mom content, all the stuff. So. If you're interested, make sure you subscribe, stick around, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>